is I'm just about to uh, start T25. Oh, just putting on the PlayStation. Um, but yeah, I um, I made sure I got all my clothes laid out and I got my trainers ready, like all placed out. And then I moved the table last night so that all I needed to do was get up and go because. When I come downstairs usually and I want to work out and like the table's in the way and like all the stuff's like I have to go and get everything is like really makes me not want to do it but no excuses I'm put everything out of the way and I'm going to start 2.25 Day 1 Alpha Cardio Oh my god Okay, let's go Oh my god I've got a mix of emotions right now. Part of me hates Sean T, part of me adores him. This is a very strange sensation to love someone and hate someone all at the same time. I mean, I had to pause, well, I say pause, I did have to pause it once because I, I started seeing like stars because I was, I was all kind of lightheaded and stuff, so I had to have a banana <laughs> during that pause moment. But then I got straight back on it, and I know you're not supposed to pause it and actually stop, but I think I would have passed out if I if I hadn't. I feel so good. Like the endorphins are going. I feel great, and it's like it's only the first one. So imagine how I feel like after a week or after a month. It really does get your heart rate up. Even the modifier, you're still working, which is good because you're not you're not too high impact, but you're still getting a workout. Because sometimes when there's a modifier, you think you're kind of cheating it, but any and, and you have to go to the best of your ability. Like if you are slower than the people on the TV. It doesn't matter as long as it's your your maximum push. Then it, you know you're getting a good workout. Oh, I'm loving this already. Right. Anyway, I need to have a shower because ooh. Well, time for breakfast. I have my uh, it's chocolate and cinnamon overnight oats. Um, I will do a, re a recipe on that, like what I use and how I like make it, because people have asked how I do it. So I'll probably do another video at some point uh, explaining it. Um, but I'm gonna have that and then head off to work. Just uh, finished up work and um, I'm just going to head back now, I'm going to film a video when I get back. Um, yeah, today was a nice good day. Um, food wise I was relatively good at lunch. I had a chicken chasseur um, and lots of veg. I had some aubergines, I had some carrots and cauliflower and something else. Oh, green beans. So I've, got, I've had quite a lot of vegetables and there was, there was, oh, there was so much good cake and I, re I resisted the cake, I had fruit instead. Get me. And I had orange for the first time in ages, purely because it was all like cut up and prepared and didn't have all like the stringy bits on, because I hate it, all those like stringy bits. But it was all like freshly done, I'm thinking, hmm, there must be a way of getting these like freshly prepared, because I don't know how to prepare an orange. It seems like a lot of effort for not a lot of fruit. I don't know but uh, anyway I'm going to uh, head home and start filming and um, yeah there's someone who wants to borrow my turbo fire while I'm doing focus t25 so I said yeah sure so um, yeah that'll be uh, that'll be good to hear how they're getting on with that uh, but anyway for now I'm gonna head off and uh, listen to some hmm, I think I've got aqualung on in the car at the moment but I may uh, mix it up with something else who knows <laughs> Well, I'm back home and oh my god, the rain was crazy, crazy. Um, but I've been to Asda and I bought some stuff. I'm going to show you the stuff. So I've got some uh, carrot, potato, leeks, Sweden onions, two avocado, chunky vegetables, red onion, courgette and pepper roasting. Uh, fine cuts um, lettuce with shredded cabbage, carrots and red peppers. Two chicken breasts. Beef stir fry. I've never really cooked beef before. So yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. Uh, no, I, I'm sure I'll be fine. I don't know what to do with it though. That's the only thing. So we've got some seasoning. We've got a chicken chasseur mix a chicken casserole mix and a beef bourguignon um, mix and vinegar because <laughs> we ran out and then beauty stuff which I'll show you this is the Garnier pure active intensive anti-spot exfoliating scrub 
It is brilliant, this is my favourite. My skin is totally cleared up since using this. Well, I say totally. Um, cleared up a bit. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever clear up properly because it's just, it never seems to just behave itself. But this is the best that I've found so far for my skin. So I've got like T-zone combination, dry, oily, annoying. So I usually get witch stick, but I thought I'd get gel. Uh, which is good for my pores on my nose because I get really big pores on my nose and it really annoys me so that's for that. Chewing gum. Garnier BB Cream. This is great because it kind of leaves a nice base um, to then put your makeup on. I think I've done, um, I've talked about this before in another video. I think it's one of my favourite videos. But yeah, love this. And I've run out of mascara so I've gone, I usually go for Rimmel um, or Max Factor but I've, I'm giving Maybelline a try because it's on offer. Um, and this is the Maybelline Volume Express Turbo Boost Mascara. I hope this was in black, because I just picked it up hoping it was in black. Oh my god, what colour is it? Oh my god, it's very black, even better. So um, I'll try this tomorrow and see how it looks, but I'm hoping it's... Um, I, I basically need volume, because I've got long lashes, but not a lot of them. So hopefully this will give me the, the illusion of more. I'm going to put all this away, and then I think... Do I have chicken or do I have stir fry? In fact, I have a black bean sauce, which I could do with the beef, because it goes nice with beef, and a pepper, and some noodles. just done some errands, um, sorted out through all my ostomy stuff which is crazy because I had so many boxes, I've decided, so I always used to keep them all in boxes but I decided to take them out of the boxes and just put them in drawers and there's so much more space now so um, yeah that's, um, I'm kind of glad I did that but I had loads of cardboard to go into the recycling, there's just, it's ridiculous how many boxes I seem to have stored <laughs> but um, anyway. I'm going to uh, edit the vlog and then uh, go to bed because I'm exhausted. So I will see you tomorrow for some T25. Yee!